How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the layout editor. Now the layout editor basically allows you to customize how your Streamlabs OBS looks in terms of your workflow. So it makes it a lot easier for you to be able to have everything you need that's important for your stream right there in front of you. So first thing you're going to want to do is go down here where it shows for you to either log in or log out. In this case, it should be for you to log in. So make sure you're logged into the platform that you want to stream on, on Streamlabs OBS. Once you're done with that, go ahead up here where it shows like the four squares. It will say layout editor. This is what you're going to see once you select the layout editor. And this is fully customizable in terms of how you can lay it out and what you can get rid of and everything. So we will get to that in just a moment. On the left hand side here is different layouts that you can choose from. So figure out which preset layout you like the most and then you go ahead and customize that for however which one you like the most. So I'm going to stick with the default since this is what most of us are familiar with but you guys can do everything I do from this point on on whichever layout that you choose. So once you figure out the layout that you like then you have your elements that you can mess with. So some of these elements are currently already in here. Now with the elements that are currently shown on the screen, you can actually do some customization with them. So if you wanted to have your stream display where the mini feed is, just do a left click, drag down, and then it flips it. If you don't want the mini feed, or if you don't want any of these other ones, what you can do is left click, drag out, and then let go. And now you have this empty spot here and you can put something else into that spot. So I'm actually going to leave how this is and then I'm going to bring in the legacy event on top because I personally like to have how all this is pretty much laid out. Sometimes a stream display, I don't mind putting up here and then having a mini display or a legacy event down here. That's perfectly fine. Once you have it all set up how you like, go ahead and hit save changes. And this is what you're going to see. So you're going to be able to see all of this stuff and then you'll be able to do a little bit of other customization from this point. So if you hover over in between where this like, or if you want to grab this little white box, you can just left click, drag up, and then you can make this a little bit bigger and these a little bit smaller. Now, if you want to do the same thing here, you can. So left click, drag up. Now this makes it even smaller up top. So you're going to have to adjust it if you need to. So you do have a little bit of customization from this point as well. So that is pretty much how the whole editor works and everything. Now, one little extra tip that I want to give you guys is if you want your chat to be on the left hand side, just like how mine is, what you're going to do is go down to settings and then you're going to go over to appearance and you're going to click this little box here. that says show the live doc chat on the left side. Go ahead and hit done and then you should see it instantly populate on this side. Because for me, I usually have my OBS on my monitor that's on the right hand side. So when I'm playing a game, it just makes it easier for me to glance over to the right versus having to look all the way to the right hand side of my monitor. So that's a little extra tip for you guys. But that is pretty much how the editor works. And if you're wanting to, you know, get rid of things or put things back how they were. Unfortunately, there is not a reset to default button that I was able to find. So uh, if you wanted to, you just put this back here and then you had the mini feed right there and then hit save changes and then it's back to normal. But yeah, that is pretty much how the editor works. If you guys have any other questions about it or if I missed anything, let me know in the comment section below. And if you are wanting to learn more about streaming, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time I do upload a video. Now, I also do stream over on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So be sure to go ahead and follow me over there as well. And all my other social medias, which you can find in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you soon.